There's a new vehicle hitting the road that's trying to bridge the gap between bicycles and cars. We've seen electric assist bicycles before, but never one like this. The ELF is a recumbent tricycle with a solar panel on top and a trunk in the rear. It's a single occupancy vehicle that marries the environmental benefits of a bike with the personal convenience of a car. Ironically, it was while creating gas-guzzling race cars for BMW and Porsche that Rob Cotter, a lifelong inventor, decided to change course. I've always had a strong bias towards the environment, and I've always known that the automobiles we use all the time are just not the way to go. Cotter's lifelong passion for the environment and cycling propelled him to create a solar-powered, mass-produced car alternative. For decades, he labored over thousands of designs and prototypes that eventually led to the creation of the ELF, which stands for electric, light, and fun. It is all those things. It is very light, weighs, you know, 135 pounds plus. It is electric, solar electric, and it is incredibly fun. And that's an important aspect of everything that we do, that when people get in this and they're commuting to work or they're making deliveries, that is kind of like a little bit of a carnival ride. Its pod shape may look clownish, but the ELF is a practical vehicle designed to carry people and cargo. Just ask Sarah Howe, a potter from Durham, North Carolina, and ELF customer number one. When there's problems in the world, I can go into the studio and make some pots, and the problems can disappear. But not all Hal's setbacks can be solved at her potter's Good wheel. Morning. Good morning. Every week, Hal sells hundreds of pounds of ceramic mugs, bowls, and plates to customers at the Durham Farmer's Market. For many years, I assumed I had to use a car to get to market, because there was no other way I could get six miles to market carrying enough to sell. <laughs> that bothered Hal, who was looking for a way to reduce her carbon footprint without giving up her stall at the farmer's market. Suddenly, there was a third option, a pedal-powered alternative that gets you from point A to point B, while sheltering you and your things from elements like wind and rain. <laughs> so essentially, it's a sun-powered trike. People pedal as well, so it runs on solar energy and calories. It has enough room for eight bags of groceries. It has a system that really incorporates your pedaling and the electric power, melds them very well together. Without hesitation, Howe became the first person to purchase the $5,000 ELF. A hefty sum, but because the ELF is technically considered a bicycle, you don't pay for car-related items like license plates, taxes, and gasoline, which Cotter estimates can cost up to $9,000 a year. According to the Federal Highway Administration, most automobile trips in the U.S. are less than four miles long. Two-thirds of them contain only the driver. And each year, the average car emits nearly five tons of CO2 into the atmosphere. The ELF may look like a simple contraption, but if you peel back its protective aerodynamic shell, there's some serious engineering under the seat. Many, many types of technology come together and merge to fill this technological space between a bicycle and a car. Its contingency variable transmission, or CVT, has two chains that coast independently, eliminating any friction when switching between foot power and its 750 watt backup battery. If riders get tired of pedaling, they can flip a switch and travel at speeds up to 15 miles an hour using the onboard rechargeable battery. This lithium iron phosphate battery is less toxic than traditional lead-acid batteries found in cars. Its phosphate molecules make it more stable, it lasts about seven years, and it can be recycled safely. The battery can be powered from the roof's solar panel in about seven hours. Or, if it's gray outside, the elf can get a charge from a traditional outlet in about an hour and a half. That's the horn, obviously. Noted climate change expert Dr. Bill Shemitis was intrigued when he first learned of the elf's transportation possibilities. First of all, it's what's called a velomobile. Velomobiles, it turns out, are the most efficient form of transportation that we have. The next one is bicycles, but it's more efficient even than walking. Like many three-wheeled velomobiles, the ELF incorporates an aerodynamic design for maximum efficiency. We need to come up with ways of transporting ourselves that don't require us to use petroleum. And this ELF is about as close and practical, I think, as you can get. But not everyone agrees. 
short distance, slow moving, you know, sub 20 miles per hour, sub five mile trips, you're gonna be hard pressed to find a better tool for the job than the bicycle. It's just, it's too efficient, it's too cheap, it's too good, it's too fun. <laughs> As a bike guy who rides a bike everywhere and owns and runs a bike shop, I'm all for luring people out of the car. They're huge, they're wasteful. And that's one of Merrill's concerns for all motorized vehicles, including the Elf. If you took all the cars off the road and you replaced them with Elfs, you will have solved some problems, but you'll have created other problems. Now you have to deal with mining the minerals to produce these technologies, solar panels and batteries, as well as uh, what to do with these things when, they're, when they've expired. Since its founding in 2012, Organic Transit has only delivered a couple hundred elves throughout the United States and Canada. This is number 125. But the team hopes to have thousands on the road in the next few years, and even start customizing the elf to meet regional needs, like models that offer lower gearing and bigger brakes for riders in San Francisco, or doors and seat warmers in Minneapolis. These distribution goals will likely give rise to new challenges, challenges that inspire Cotter to keep innovating for inventors or builders and designers or entrepreneurs, if they have the opportunity to launch a very green product, a product that can help lots of people, it's the best thing you can ever do.